Lumos. Oh, well, hey there! Welcome back! I'm Adara, and today we're opening up some Harry Potter cablings. I don't know what that is. It's gonna be so dumb. Well, okay. It is a Harry Potter day. Mm, so good, so good. I didn't start reading the books until last year. A good friend was throwing a Yule ball and bet your bottom dollar I was gonna read those books before I went to that ball so that I knew all about it. The books are amazing. I feel deprived that I wasn't given the books as a child to read. I don't exactly know when they came out. Maybe I was a little bit older. I know the movies came out when I was in high school and I was just like, mm, I haven't read the books, I don't know. But I will tell you, reading it in my 30s, but that is some good literature right there. And it's like so good that I have reread it twice. Truth time, I haven't actually read it. I've listened to the audiobook. Kind of the same, right? The readers are so good. And I have listened to both Jim Dale and Stephen Fry. I know it's very controversial, but I prefer Jim Dale. Okay, that's where it's at. And I am in the process of watching the movies. I have one to go, but like the movies are nowhere near as good as the books. No, it's like the movies were made for children and the books were made for everyone. But I will watch it and I will finish it and then I'll be able to say that I've watched all the Harry Potter movies. But today, we're gonna be opening up this thing that I don't, I've never, I don't know what this is. I've never heard of cablings before. So apparently you uh, collect, protect, and personalize your cables. This is for your cables. So I'm thinking like this is like my iPhone cable. And I read online that they're supposed to make it so your cables don't break. Like I have this issue all the time and it's because I don't buy, I buy knockoff cables. They work for a while, but they're just not like iPhone they break like right here and right here and all the wires come out but apparently this is supposed to make it so that they don't break in these little breaky points i wanted this to be a surprise so i put these little papers over it without looking like i did it like this i could just be wrong but i thought that it was like a you get four random ones per box, so your box will come with four random figures, and then there's also a mystery figure. Also, we're gonna have a drink today. This requires a little leg work. This is a drink I found online. I'm going to uh, link it below, the website where I found this recipe, and it is called Unicorn Blood, which I know I'm not supposed to drink, but I also know it's gonna give me everlasting life. I bought these little baby bottles because I didn't want to buy the whole bottles. I'm going to make this drink. I might not like this drink. But this is a great, cheap option. 1.5 ounces of silver tequila, 1.5 ounces of St. Germain, one ounce of lemon juice. I think that this is only one ounce of St. Germain, and I think these are only one ounce of tequila. But you know what? I did bring with me this little measuring cup, so I'll measure it out. But like, if this is only one ounce, I'm supposed to have 1.5, and this is only one ounce, then I'll just add the whole thing of the second tequila. Sound fair? Okay, so I'm just gonna cut open this lemon here. I'm gonna juice it, I'm gonna juice it up. Let's try to get one ounce. I, and I don't know if it's supposed to go in first or whatever. I already started here, so it's happening. I'm gonna put this all right behind me. I hope you can't see my mess for the rest of the video. There's some seeds in here. I'm gonna try to be careful. Lemon juice. <gasps> Dang it. Okay, so three seeds got in. But they're the little tiny ones. I didn't bring ice, so hopefully it's cold enough. This is Camarena Tequila Silver. Let's see how many ounces this, um, you're not gonna be able to see it probably, but I'll tell you. How many ounces this Camarena is? Cause I need one and a half. <gasps> oh crap, it's two. <laughs> it's already in there, it's all going in. I think that's okay. I'm allowed, I'm an adult. Um, and then let's see what Stager means because this is expensive. And if this is more than 1.5, I'm only gonna use that 1.5, I'll save the rest. Almost, okay, that is 1.5, and look at that. I always thought that these little baby shots were one shot. Maybe they're two, maybe they're all two. 
and we just didn't know or maybe i just didn't know yeah, i was definitely about to say like should i give this a little stir with my wand no because this is hecka dirty because the cats love 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 when i play with them with this i don't know i just start spitting out spells expecto patronum and they're like <gasps> and they love it and they like to bite it and they like it when i hit their little noggins with it so it's been in cat mouths i'm not gonna stir my drink with it did not bring a drink stir so it's just gonna have to be like old-fashioned way like like this let's um give it a try oh that smells like feet Oh, like lemon feet. Oh, that's a weird smell. I'm sure it tastes better than it smells. Let's try it. Cheers. Okay. That tastes like Theraflu. I know what you're thinking. Ooh. I like Theraflu. I'm delicious. Yes, this is a Ravenclaw wand. I am not a Ravenclaw. I'm a Gryffindor. I kind of tried to do Gryffindor colors here, but I kind of think I probably look more like McDonald's colors. I don't know if I'm really a Gryffindor. I feel like I'm a, probably a Gryffindor. How come in the books they don't really talk about Hufflepuff? Like all we know is they're like nice people. What else? What else do they do? Let's open these little babies up. So let's remove these mystery um, question marks that I have drawn and see which ones are on here. I'm so excited. <gasps> it's a little Hagrid. It's a little baby Hagrid. Oh, that's so cute. This, oh, it's a little baby Harry. Okay, I don't know. I'm thinking that maybe everybody gets the same ones because I think that this already is the same as what it was in the picture online. So maybe I just got it wrong. And I thought that like you get four random ones and a mystery one, but maybe you get always the same four and the mystery one's the only one that's different for everybody. The Harry is super cute, so cute. Who is, oh, it's the guy, it's the first guy, it's the teacher, it's the professor, what the heck? It's the guy with the snake in his head, it's the, it's the professor. You know, he was only in the first book. Don't judge me. I don't remember his name. Professor. It's the professor who vol... He who must not be named. No, you know what? I'm a Harry. I'm really more like a Ron. But like, I can say his name. I'm not scared. He's got Voldemort under that hat. Under that hat, he's got a Voldemort. Spoilers, maybe, if you haven't seen the first movie. Fourth final one. A Hedwig. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's a little cutie. It's on its side, but it's so cute. Okay, I'm very happy. I'm not going to use him. He's an evil. I don't want him. I only need two for my cord. I guess I have more cords than just two. But Now I'm going to see what the back said, because I'm, it didn't look, and now I'm curious. It's... Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you buy this online, you do get these four that I just got, and then you get a mystery, and the mystery is like, blah, 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 what's the mystery? I'm gonna find out right now. Let's open it up. Bum, ba, da, da. Oh, they all fell out. It is, is it Dobby? No, oh my god! It is a little tiny dragon. Wouldn't have thought of the dragon as a, as a character, but it is. It's Hagrid's pet. It deserves to be on there. It's weird that the egg is like skin color, like it's coming out of a piece of you. Maybe a new ring? Let's try putting this on my cord. This is hard. I think I would either do Hagrid and his dragon, or I would do Harry and Hedwig. I don't think Hedwig is gonna stay up. Or, or it could be this combo of Harry and, um, Hagrid would be very cute because they're besties for life. I'm gonna do Harry and Hedwig. I think that those are super cute. I want Harry to be up close to where I will see him all the time because one of these could be close to the floor. I think it just goes, you could just open it right up. Look. 
kind of. Can you tell that I'm opening it? Shoot, I don't know how to do it. Oh, this is so gross. It's like I'm opening up his brain. Oh, why is... This is harder than it should be. Oh, pfft. I think I did it. But this side is disturbing. Look how cute. And hopefully my little cable won't break right there. And if it just opens right up, that's what Harry should do, but he doesn't. We did it. We love each other. Like I said, I buy them knockoff cords. Maybe they won't break so often. Maybe Harry and Hedwig's gonna protect them forever. If you remember this guy's name, or write it in the comments. You let me know. Oh, I forgot during this video. I wanted to try a British accent. Oh, it's horrible. Good thing I didn't. If you like this video, I hope that you hit that like button below. I would super appreciate it if you subscribed so I can keep buying cray cray stuff like this and having drinks. Thanks. Bye.